Okay, the last exit um, might be a good one or might not be a good one. I don't know. Uh, maybe you need another exit. I don't know. Uh, a little confusion over the name but I, of this film, but I'll, I'll get into that in a moment. Um, as far as you know, let's get into the IMDb plots first. Uh, set during a vicious storm, two criminal brothers on the run seek refuge in a desolate farmhouse. Taking the resident family captive, they find the household's dark secrets of its own. Yes, I kind of like when these bad guys enter these homes and then uh, bad stuff happens to them. That's what they get. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the, the last exit, um, as far as it is on Tubi, <laughs> and that's where I found this film. Um... But also here on IMDb, as I was looking for this film to, to read, obviously, this description, uh, it listed as the title being Little Bone Lodge. So either or, I'm going with the last exit, but it could be Little Bone Lodge. I, I don't know what the story is behind that. Um, you guys are interested. You guys can, it probably says it here on IMDb or somewhere else. I, I have no idea. Um, anyway, again, I found this one on Tubi. That is where I watched it. Um, it's, I believe it said it was a Tubi original, so again, a little confused over the name, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to, I've been using Tubi a little bit more recently to just kind of see if I can find stuff that I like and whatever, uh, stuff of interest. Um, the fact that I'm doing this review must mean that there's something about this that I liked, which we're going to talk about here in a second. Uh, the fact that there are some other movies that I have mentioned means that I might have watched them and have not liked them enough to do a review for. Um, but I, I would definitely, you know, just kind of give a quick, you know, shout out here to Tubi. I know a lot of you have already been watching, uh, but if you have not used Tubi, Tubi is free. It does have a lot of horror on there. Um, and just because it's on there and I haven't reviewed it doesn't mean it's bad. There are some horror movies on there that I've that I've found that are on there that I've already seen. So either I've already reviewed them, um, but I've already seen them. So you know, just because I'm not I'm not going to do a second review, um, you know, so it doesn't mean every movie on Tubi is bad or I don't like all the movies on Tubi. Um, there there are some that I've already seen, uh, so that might be a reason. But. Um, you know, if you do stumble upon something on Tubi and you're curious whether I reviewed it, saw it, liked it, or whatever, you know, at the end I'll tell you where you can find me and then, you know, you can ask if, if you want my opinion. And definitely if you saw something that you really, really liked and you said, hey, you, I, I know you like, you know, these type of movies. I found this on Tubi. I don't know if you saw it or not. You know, reach out to me uh, and I'll see if I can give it a, a watch. Um, anyway, back to the point here and the last exit. Um, yeah, I... I kind of, you know, just was like, okay, uh, I'll click on this and see what happens. And um, it stars Jolie Richardson, and you, some of you might be familiar with, might not. I um, mean, you know, I'm not going to name every movie she's in, uh, but, you know, she's done some other horror things, and, and uh, I'm a fan of hers, and, and I liked some of the other stuff she's done, so I was definitely happy to, to see a familiar face. Um, again, you know, it is kind of set in what it says, um, you know, you're going to have her and a young daughter and, uh, they are going to be in this home kind of in the middle of nowhere. I guess it's the last exit is, is really dark and out in the middle of, of nowhere. And, uh, you know, she's caring for her young daughter and, um, you know, obviously going to be very protective of her. And she also has a, a, um, her husband there who is, um, uh, basically, you know, disabled, if you want to call it, uh, he needs her complete attention and, you know, she administers medicine to him, um, you know, at X points during the, the, the time, during the day, it's very important that he receives medicine. So he is there in the house, but is, you know, not able to do or say much. Um, he's just basically medicated there, but, um, it, it is a, another person in the house. So, you get kind of a quick introduction to them at the beginning um, and, and, you know, kind of what is going on, her taking care of the daughter and that the fact that there, there's the husband there in, in this um, seat, but it can't do anything. And uh, then you get the knock at the door. Here it comes. Um, you know, hey, we need help. A guy, you know, there are two guys. One is badly injured. You know, at first she's like, no, but then she lets him in. 
And, you know, you, as you're watching this, you're like, no, don't let them in. Send them on their way, blah, blah, bad things happen. Last house left, other stuff, you know, we've seen this happen before. Don't let them in. Uh, but she does, and she helps him, and everything seems okay. Um, you know, but you know it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you're kind of wondering, you know, well, why did he like this movie? He seems to already know, you know, everything that's going to happen here. Um, well, I liked it because it definitely twists and turns. And like I said... Uh, you, you're, you know, even though you kind of know what to expect and you, you kind of are like, I know this or I see this coming, um, still this movie's going to twist and turn you and it's going to keep doing it. Um, and I just, you know, kind of liked it the way it went. And, uh, even though, you know, there were certain things I expected and, you know, maybe something happened, some didn't, I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't seen it. Uh, like I said, it is, well, here it says it's 2023, so... Um, it is fairly new, regardless of the title and whatever. Um, and maybe some of you have not seen it on Tubi or have seen it, period. Uh, so I'm not going to spoil too much here. Um, but I will just tell you, it does twist and turn, even though, you know, like, even though the plot I read and everything, you know, kind of sounds similar. And, you know, they're going to show up with bad intentions. And, you know, the two guys are eventually going to try to take over. But, you know, yeah, what is the end game here? Who is the really bad person? You know, are they the bad person? Is the family the bad person? Something else the bad person? A bad thing? Whatever. Lots of different avenues to go out here. Uh, but it is going to twist and turn. Um, there are things going on with the two guys you're going to find out a little bit more about as it goes. Obviously, things going on in this house, um, you know, that's not always what it seems. So, you know, it is going to kind of open a door on both parties. You know, you're going to see... Uh, some things are going to be going on with the brothers or the two guys. I don't know if they were brothers, but the two guys. And then you're going to see something going on with the family. You know, things are going to be revealed on both sides. And uh, then there's going to be a big collision of everything at the end. Um, you know, so I, I just liked the way it twist and turn. I liked the way the ending came together. Like I said, I liked uh, Jolie's performance. And, and not to say that every, anybody else... Um, did a bad job, but obviously she stood out. Obviously, as a, a familiar face, she's going to stand out, uh, at least to me. Um, but, you know, a decent job, you know, done by everybody here. And, uh, you know, it was a really interesting ending. I liked the way they ended it. I'm not going to give away the ending so, you know, for you guys who haven't seen it. You can see it and see if you like the ending. Uh, you know, maybe it was totally predictable to you and that kind of pissed you off. And I can completely see that. And uh, maybe you didn't like it because of that. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it was totally predictable. Um, I think that there is some, for, for those who have seen a lot of horror movies and seen, you know, this kind of setup before, uh, there's definitely a certain level of predictability and, and so forth. Um, and, you know, I, I can see why you might not like it based on that. And, and that's fine. I, I completely get it. Um, but I, I liked the twists and turns. Um, like I said, it is, it is a dark house at the end of the road here. Um, most of the film is just very dark, dark setting. Um, I think maybe the final, final scene kind of happens more in the morning. So there's a little bit more light going on there. Uh, but majority of the, the, the movie elsewise is, is in the dark. Um, and, and there's definitely, you know, I think it's a, it, they mentioned even there, it's a stormy night. So... You know, you kind of got all that, those elements of darkness and mystery and, and that kind of, you know, things settling in the background. So, um, you know, you know the basics of it is if, if you're on Tubi, you're looking for something and maybe you've seen this title kind of run across there as you're searching. Um, in my eyes, I, I say click on it. Uh, it is free. The worst thing you can do is what I've done with some of the other ones. Just stop, <laughs> turn it off and move on to the next one. Didn't cost you a dime. Um, if, if you're just not liking it or you're like, this is just too predictable for me and, and I'm not going to sit here to wait to see what he's talking about. If it is unpredictable at any point, I'm turning it off and you do it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. Definitely recommend you, you check this one out. If you're looking for something on Tubi and looking for something free and, um, you know, it's only an hour and a half, so it's not going to burn a, a, a whole lot of your time. Um, and, you know, I, I don't, you know, I think it was well done. You know, the acting's pretty good. You know, maybe one of the, the two two guys there, I mean, it wasn't a huge, huge fan of what was going on with him, but whatever, they were all right in the, in the end. Um, but I'm going to give this one three pools of blood. 
uh, keep it very nice and simple. I, I enjoyed it enough. Um, enjoyed it enough, like I said, to, to sit here and, and give you a, a brief talk about it or at least show you that I'm interested in it so that you guys can see it um, and, and know that it's out there. It, regardless of the confusion of the name, I had no idea that it had, was another title name until I, I looked here on IMDb. So whatever, whatever the name of this movie is, one way or the other, it gets three pools of blood uh, from me. And uh, that is out of five. So uh, horrorsquarereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all my reviews written in video. Uh, you know, probably going to have to go back a year or two to, to see any written reviews. Uh, mostly video reviews over the, the recent years, a year or two. So um, most of that is here, and you should be able to find that here. So you can like and subscribe like everybody wants you to do. Um, if not, no worries. It, it is okay. Uh, I appreciate your time regardless, um, whether this is the, the first review you've seen or you've seen others or whatever. Um, if you've spent any time here, I thank you. Uh, but anyway, while you're here, just check out the short section, trying to have some fun, use some information there as well, uh, courtesy of Promote Horror, uh, or at least, you know, some of the informational stuff. And, um, you know, some of the crazy fun stuff is just me being stupid and have nothing better to do. Well, plenty better to do, but I'm still doing it regardless. Um, Twitter, Facebook down below. Uh, feel free to reach out. And um, follow, like me there or not, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but you can have something you want to talk about horror-wise. Feel free to do it. If you see this movie or you even know why it's got two different titles, uh, feel free to fill me in. Uh, you can do that same in the comment section. If you know why it has two different titles uh, and, and you want to fill me in, <laughs> please feel free to do so um, regardless. And if you have any other recommendations, again, on Tubi uh, that you think that I should see, might like, whatever, uh, or just want to tell me so that I click it and go, why did that person tell me to watch this? I don't understand. Uh, any of those reasons, uh, feel free to do so in the comment section or on Twitter or Facebook, whatever. Uh, so with that, I will catch you in the next review, horror fans.